Hi and welcome back to Neural Splendor. Today we want to take a look at a customer's unit that was towed in. The driver complaint was he was running down the highway. He heard the buzzer go off. The red engine stop light came on. He looked at his dash and noticed the oil pressure gauge had gone to zero. He put the unit in neutral, coasted over the side, shut the engine off, and it was towed into our shop. The first thing that we did is put a mechanical oil pressure gauge on it and hook up Cummins Insight and monitored oil pressure. We did that because if the oil pressure sensor fails, the driver would get those exact results because the dash oil pressure and the light is driven by the engine's ECM, which is looking at the oil pressure sensor. So the engine could have been fine and a sensor failure caused all that to happen. We also put a mechanical gauge for oil pressure on the engine. We checked the oil level, it was full, it didn't appear to be diluted, didn't smell like there was fuel in it. We disabled the engine so that it couldn't start and then we cranked it for about five seconds. We saw no oil pressure. We then pulled out a galley plug and cranked it for a couple seconds and nothing came out. At that point, we removed the engine oil filter and cut it open. And we'll talk about that now as we take a look at what we found. Here's the oil filter media. As you can see, there are no shiny silver or brass colored particles anywhere. We also noticed in the bottom of the oil filter can, it was clean. That tells us that the engine wasn't driven for a long period of time with something failing where parts are damaging or grinding or scoring. Because there was no metal in the filter, that meant metal didn't get into the pan, get pulled back up the suction tube into the oil pump, and get pumped through the filter. We suspected that the suction tube might have broken or the oil pump failed, which would be a very unusual failure on a mid-range engine. Those have uh, gyrotor pumps. They're extremely bulletproof pumps. So let's take a look at what happened. This is the front casting of the oil pump body. As you can see, a part of it's broken off. It actually blew apart. That's the drive gear laying underneath it. We found them blown apart in the engine when we pulled the pump out. Let's take a look and see why that happened. This oil pump is the gyrotor type, and here we have taken the outer ring out of the oil pump. And if you look right here, you can see where the, what looks like the imprint of a washer was crushed in by the driving rotor. And that is what caused the pump to explode. When that washer got stuck in there, this rotor stopped turning. There was no clearance. The crankshaft continued to turn the drive gear and it broke the pump housing. Here we have the oil thermostat that the ends broke off of, the spring and the clip are missing. The spring was in the oil cooler housing, however the clip made its way down into the oil pump. That's the hole that that screws in and it's a straight shot down through the block down to this top hole right there where it came into the oil pump. The driver of this vehicle did a great job of getting the vehicle off the road quickly and safely. He shut the engine off quickly and he saved the engine from having a catastrophic failure. Instead of having to replace it, we were able to replace the oil pump and the broken parts, clean out the oil system. We threw a set of bearings in it and put the engine back together and today it's running just fine. 